Hello everybody and welcome back to Rainbow Crafts. My name is Colton and today I will be making for you a soap inspired by all those spooky leading ladies in all of those great horror movies. This soap is called Mistress of the Dark and it is scented with black licorice fragrance oil which is an amazing fragrance oil that we were so excited to try out. So stay tuned and watch us make this Mistress of the Dark inspired soap. Alrighty, let's get this Mistress of the Dark soap making started. So, just like all of our other soaps, spooky or otherwise, we will start by adding our lye water and our sodium lactate to our plant-based oil blend. And as always, that blend is down in the description box below for you to use if you would like it. We will be adding to this some Black Pearl Mica, which is one of my most favorite dark dark purple micas whenever i'm wanting to do a black colored soap but don't want to use activated charcoal this is the one i reach for just because of how well it like makes a really deep dark colored soap once we have this to a light trace i will actually set this aside break out our other cambro of oils add in the lye water blitz that up as well just like we just did and then i will add our fragrance oil this is black licorice from nature's garden this is one scent that it's so weird we get requests for this specific fragrance almost every single market it doesn't matter if it's summer it doesn't matter if it's winter a black licorice scented soap is one we get requests for all of the time and I've got to tell you this is a really delicious fragrance oil you also don't need to use a whole whole lot of it because the use percentage is lower than a normal percentage we would use so the fragrance oil actually goes a little bit further which we all love to save a little bit of money when we are doing any sort of craft project I wasn't a hundred percent sure how this fragrance oil would work in the soap batter so I added them the fragrances at the same time to the two separate batches there and then blitz them up to get them to a nice consistency and make sure that that fragrance oil is fully incorporated into that soap batter. Of course, doing the uncolored soap base before I did the black soap base. And then we will portion off about a third of the black soap base into each of the slab molds there and then just level them out by shaking the containers. Then I will go in with some purple mica. I believe this one is called Northern Lights or something like that, and do a nice light dusting over both slabs of soap there because I want to do a purple mica line. Then I will go in with the uncolored soap base, use our scraper there to break the pour fall and then I will put in about a third of the white soap batter into each of the slab bolts as well. The consistency of this soap was pretty good and well set up for this type of application so while I was being super careful it wasn't a necessity. I think I missed the spatula there a few times and it didn't really mess anything up too too bad. And then we basically will just rinse and repeat for each of the layers here. So I will smooth out this uncolored soap base layer, get out the air bubbles, and then go in with some purple mica to do a purple mica line in each of the slab molds there. Once I have the purple down, I will get out the dark black, well, it's kind of gray colored soap batter and my scraper again and I will pour the remainder of that soap batter over the uh, or in the two slab molds there so I guess it's not really a third of the soap that I use it's more like a half because uh, there's four layers there if I did make this soap again I would do white on the bottom layer instead of the black uh, just from like a design perspective it would have been a little more pleasing to the eye but that's such a minor thing. I love this fragrance and I really love how this design turned out as well. I was genuinely surprised when I cut into this 
in a good way, I was surprised. We will again smooth out that dark gray, blackish layer there. It doesn't have to be perfectly level because of the, or perfectly smooth because of the design that I have in mind. But you guessed it, the next step will be to add in some purple mica, another purple mica line onto that dark gray color there. Like I said in the introduction, this is inspired by, well, it's inspired by Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. This theme of this soap collection was horror movie trope. So the first one, the first video that came out earlier this week was our abducted soap inspired by like alien abduction movies. And I'll link that up in the corner there. This was this one is inspired by Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, but also kind of like Morticia Adams. Those kind of iconic leading horror ladies that are in all of the best horror movies. We've had a really, really fun time designing this collection, conceptualizing it as well, and also assigning fragrance oils to the assorted characters and movie tropes that we came up with. And I think... I think everyone who sees this in person will be really, really happy with any of the scents that they select from this collection. While I've kind of been blabbing away, I did finish scraping out that uncolored soap base into or onto each of the slabs there, and we are not coming back to that Cambro, so I scraped every little last bit out, and we will smooth this out as well. The soap batter was getting a little thick at this point, not anything like accelerating or anything like that. This just has taken a little bit of time to do. Um, definitely I would recommend this fragrance oil and we will do this again if we need a black licorice scented soap. And then the final step in the interior design is to get out our hanger swirl tool and do some nice quick hanger swirls in the inside because I wanted to pull all of the layers through each other in a nice kind of spooky kind of like crooked smile design and then we will zoom in the camera and this was the one area I didn't have a great idea uh, in terms of design for and that was the top design so I started out doing these little squiggles kind of like wispy hair or spider webs this specific soap bar had several different names before we landed on Mistress of the Dark. It was going to be like Witch's Brew or something along those lines, but it didn't really seem to fit. Uh, and so I think that might have been why, why I was struggling with the top design here. After I did those squiggles, I thought it needed a little something extra. So I got out our bar spoon there and I'm doing a spoon swoop on one side of the bar once we cut the slab and I'm trying to line that up as nicely as possible so each slab gets a spoon swoop and also a little swizzle on the top and then we will speed up the camera or cut away actually to having the second slab basically done so you can see the end there I really like doing two slabs at once because it doesn't seem like it takes quite as long to get double the work done and I'm all about efficiency so that's something I really enjoy. Once I have the tops all done I will spritz them with some rubbing alcohol, put the wooden lids on top, and set these soaps aside for 24 hours before it is time to unmold. This fragrance oil does not discolor. It behaved really well. It's set up really well. Um, it stays around in the soap even though you use less in terms of percentage than the let our normal fragrances that we use. When I did slice this, this cut away on the side was a little ugly looking, um, but the hanger swirl, the way that we did it, this is not the way that matters. It's when you cut into it and you're looking face onto the soap bar that actually matters. We'll get out Dorothy, and it is time to see if our work paid off, and it definitely, definitely did. So it's a little hard to see on camera here, but in between the uh, dark gray and the white lines, there is a purple mica line. So it kind of looks like veining, like purple veining in the soap. It's such a pretty, pretty effect. 
So much so that our creature feature soap that's coming out in like a week or so also adopted a very similar design scheme because we loved it so much. Very impactful, really easy to do as well. Super satisfied with this end product and you'll definitely see something similar to this design again for Halloween soap or not. But that is it. That is our Mistress of the Dark Soap, which along with the whole other horror movie collection will be available October 1st online and in person. Check out our website for details on how to order and where to find us in person so you can see these soaps up close and personal. I want to give a really big shout out to all of our subscribers. They get soaps of the month or candles, shout outs at the end of videos, discount codes, and other fun perks. Check out our website on how to become a subscriber. We appreciate each and every one of their support. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to tell me your favorite Mistress of the Dark movie quote. Subscribe to this channel and like this video. Thanks. Bye.